Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Meshable Southeast Asia. With me today is one of the most funniest people in Malaysia, Dr. Jason Leong. Thank you so much, Doctor. How should I address you? Do I call you Doctor? Do I call you Jason? Do I just call you Mr. Leong? Uh, Your Excellency, the revered <laughs> Dr. Jason Leong. Okay. Or just Jason. Okay, just... <laughs> so, Jason, now, uh. I, I know that a lot of people have asked you this question mm -hmm. and I know that you are damn bored and tired of answering this question. So, don't ask. La. Just find the links or the interview. Google then, it. Then you screenshot and you paste it when, if, you, if you want to ask this question. <laughs> But for the sake of our Southeast Asian viewers, right? Some of them <laughs> yes. who maybe have never heard of you. All, I would like to know, mm -hmm. how did you become a doctor mm -hmm. and became then later on became a comedian? How did that work? Is it because you didn't get paid enough or what? Oh, actually, you know, that is, <laughs> that is uh, very straight to the answer. So I studied for five years, became a doctor, worked for, as a doctor for four and a half years, uh, very close to five years. And the problem with working as a doctor in Malaysia, the job is made unenjoyable because of the bureaucracy and the red tape that comes with uh, medicine in Malaysia, especially the public service uh, sphere. Right. At the same time, I really enjoyed stand-up comedy. So, uh, my wife uh, sort of encouraged me to do stand-up comedy because she knew that I was uh, not happy being where I was. I was doing both at the time. I was doing stand-up comedy and uh, working. So, I knew I had to choose one and I thought I'd give, give it a shot to not work for the first three months, you know, like um, unpaid leave. Right. And then that three months became six months, became a year, and then I never looked back since. Uh. Now, how did your parents take it? Because I know that in, in, in Asia, mm. you know, parents are like, oh, you know, it's either you'll be a doctor, mm. engineer, lawyer. Or like uh, this one. You were this one? No, no. So I didn't tell them first. I said, look, I'm going to take three months unpaid leave to do a comedy. Okay. So as the months go by, and I'm not back at work, so my mom became a bit suspicious. So I think after one year, she, she asked me, Jason, you're not going back to medicine, right? And I said, no, I'm not, uh, I'm not going back. I'm just going to continue doing this. Lah. So it was a slow, uh, a slow uh, easing in of that reality. Right. Yeah. Can you share with me, so mm -hmm. the, the, the first time you walked in to a stand-up comedian show, show right? uh -huh. how was it like? So my first gig was at uh, Time Out KL Comedy Thursdays uh, in June 2010. Right. It's uh, the only open mic show available. Drove down four hours from Penang to come down to KL. Right. And um, my first thought was like, wow, this is really uh, nerve-wracking. Okay. But I, I had some jokes in my head. And, but the crowd had a good time, they were laughing and everything. So it, it was uh, nice, yet really adrenaline rush. And I remember, Right before I go on stage, there's this white guy, his name is Steve Northcott. Okay. Steve Northcott is on stage and he's roaring the crowd with a big uh, guitar uh, number. He's singing a song about how, how he hates Singapore. And of course, that's going to go well in Malaysia, right? <laughs> white guy talking about how he hates Singapore. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going on after him, oh my god, how am I going to follow, follow this act? It's so funny. Right. That was a very life-changing moment. If that, if I didn't do that gig, I, I probably won't be here talking to you or doing stand-up comedy. Now the number one enemy for every stand-up comedian, right, mm. is I, I think I think there are there are two enemies for okay. stand-up comedians. Yes. Number one is a very tough crowd, mm -hmm. right? The second one is police. Police. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tough crowd, all right? And then? Tough crowd and um, hecklers. Yes. Have you been ever heckled doing a show? Never been badly heckled. Though sometimes there are some hecklers who just want to ruin or disrupt the show. Right. Uh, I've never had that. Um, and I can say comfortably that I do not know how to handle this kind of hackers because I don't want to focus my career on handling that one rude guy in a show when I should be concentrating on making the other 99 people in the show laugh. Can I take a guess on the mm. most toughest crowd you ah. actually faced? Okay. Uh, Singapore? No, see that's the thing. Really? No, yeah. Singapore's great also. <laughs> uh, toughest crowd, and this is weird, uh, toughest crowd would be uh, Kota Kinabalu. Wow! Yeah, yeah, I don't know why, and I cannot really explain. But we have done. I've done my own shows that uh, solo shows. Okay. I've performed with uh, the MACC Douglas Chiho, uh, yeah. Douglas Chiho, uh, Jen Han. You know, they are very loving. They are very friendly. Right. They are. They laugh easily, but somehow or other, they just didn't gel with our stand-up comedy shows. And I, I, I'm, I'm more inclined to say something is lacking from our part right. as the performers right. rather than themselves. So, um, final question Jason, what, who was the stand-up comedy that you grew up watching and why? The one that really uh, influenced my career is uh, George Carlin. 
Uh, George Kelling, like I said, he's the, the best comedian that, ha- that has ever lived, in my opinion. And um, a lot of things has influenced me. For example, like how he speaks uh, truth to power. Yeah. Uh, that will never go old, grow old. I was watching, I was listening to his set in the, while I was driving okay. and my wife was listening to, to him. And my wife doesn't know George Carlin at the time. I was watching, watching and he was talking about how Republicans hate women. And then my wife said, hey, this guy is really fresh. Yeah. Who is him? Or who is he? And I told her that this, was, this is George Carlin in 1996. Yeah. That was Dr. Jason Leong, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow us on Matchable Southeast Asia, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And please don't forget to follow Jason Leong's latest Netflix comedy special, Hashtag Blessed. Blessed. Yes, and also don't forget to follow me on uh, social media at DRJasonLeong on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And my own YouTube channel, Jason Leong Comedy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matchable.